For people to ju just go right through with red lights flashing, it, it, it blows my mind. If drivers in B.C. are caught failing to stop for a school bus, it's now going to cost them more than double than it used to. This new fine level actually puts British Columbia now in the middle of the pack as opposed to at the, at the bottom of the list. On Monday, it was announced drivers caught passing a bus's flashing red lights will continue to receive three penalty points, but will now pay a $368 fine compared to $167, and the fine increases with more offences. If you have a second infraction in the same year, it's $668. Third infraction is over $1,000 and you're likely going to lose your license. Last year, Detling went on a mission to get the penalties changed because of the number of infractions she and other bus drivers across the province have witnessed. If you consider that there's more than 50 school districts in, within BC and there's one infraction per school district, drivers are putting 50 children per day at risk. Charlie Lake parent Gaylan Carnell is happy with the fine increase and is hopeful it will deter drivers from speeding on her street while kids are loading onto and off the bus. The red lights flashing, doors are opening and people are still coming down the hill. Usually it's down because they're picking up speed coming down the hill and just go right through. It's, it's amazing and I'm flabbergasted. Even though the fines have increased, School District 60 plans on continuing with the use of external school bus cameras to capture the license plates of any drivers committing an infraction. The fine increase coupled with external cameras on these buses and the cooperation of the RCMP, which we have, thank you very much to them, um, is going to go an awful long way. Detling isn't stopping now. She hopes to get the government on board with having a third-party company supplying and monitoring free bus cameras for all districts in the province. Ask if they will um, give the permission or legislate permission to this company so that they can take over chasing after the bad guys. This fine increase is the second one recently implemented by the government targeting unsafe driving, as in March of this year, the fine for distracted driving increased to $368 as well. Carissa Wilson, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.